ما بعد فإن أصدق الحديث كتاب الله تعالى وخير الهدي هدي محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم ألا وإن شر محدثاتها وكل محدثة بدعة وكل بدعة ضلالة وكل ضلالة في النار. My dear brothers and sisters in Islam, ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to accept our deeds, accept our fasting, accept our Quran, ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to accept our repentance, I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to open the gates of mercy and forgiveness and freeing our necks from hellfire. Ameen. I would like to share with you, inshallah, in these few minutes, the relationship between fasting and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's observation. How fasting and Ramadan increasing and igniting the spirit of observation you observe Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you know that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is watchful for every single action, in every single word that you are saying and every single action that you are doing. One of the names of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, one of the beautiful names, Ismullah al-Raqib. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the most watchful one. In every single moment, second in your life, you are, and if every one of us, every one of the human being, are <coughs> under 24 7 surveillance camera. But it is different from our surveillance uh, camera, the, the observation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the observation of the uh, angels, the observation of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam on our deeds are going to be shown to him every week is different, is unique and distinguished. So we have to pay attention for, for this. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, inna Allah kana alaykum raqiba. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, yara wa ya'lam wa yasma' yara makanana wa yasma' kalamana wa la yakhfa alihi shayu min amrina. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sees our, our places. Allah hears our talking. Allah knows every single thing, even inside ourselves. Allah knows what is going inside your intention. This is something is really unique, just for Allah Subhanahu wa Taala. What is the, the definition? The definition of muraqaba to have. Observation to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the scholar said the best definition that came from our Prophet Muhammad alayhi salatu wasalam when Jibreel came to him and he asked him, Ya Muhammad, what is the Islam means? What is the Iman means? What is the Ihsan means? And the Ihsan, the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa said, and ta'bud Allah ka'annaka tarah, fa'illam ta'kun tarahu, fa'innahu yarak. To worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as you see him. And if you do not see him, rest assured that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sees you. This is the best way to make sure that you are observing and watching your deeds. And know for sure that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is watching, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is recording, is recording for you. Why we should observe our actions, why we should discipline ourselves. Suyam, by the way, and fasting, one of the acts of worship that improve this kind of sense with the believer. This is why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, في الحديث القدسي, كل عمل ابن آدم له إلا الصوم فإنه لي وأنا أجزي به. Every act of worship, every act of worship for the children of Adam, the angel will write down the reward, except fasting. It, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made it for himself. To write down the reward for fasting with because fasting one of the acts of worship that has a complete sincerity between you and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. If someone is praying, you could show off. If you are giving a charity, you could show off. But fasting is something between you and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You could go to your room and eat or drink or break your fast and nobody can watch you or criticize you. But uh, this is between you and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah made it for himself. So fasting is the best act of worship can improve and increase the spirit and the sense of observation to, to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and for the person's actions. So now, 
why we should be careful and watch ourselves and take care of this because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is recording and watching watching uh, for our deeds Allah said that in the Quran Alam ya'na bi anna Allah yara didn't he know that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sees this is a verse in surah surah al-alaq Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said wa ma takunu fi sha'n wa ma tatlu minhu min qur'an wa la ta'maluna min 'amal illa kunna 'alaykum shuhuda Every single action that you do, everywhere that you are, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with you, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sees and watching what you are doing. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said in Surah Al-Mujadila, Alam tara anna Allah ya'lam ma fi samawati wa ma fi al-ard, ma yakunu min najwa thalathatin illa huwa rabi'ahum, wa la khamsatin illa huwa sadisuhum, ولا أدنى من ذلك ولا أكثر إلا هو معهم أينما كانوا ثم ينبئهم بما عملوا يوم القيامة. If you are two, Allah subhanahu wa taala the third of you. If you are three, Allah the fourth of you. If you are four, Allah the fifth of you. Allah. If you are five, Allah the sixth of you. And Allah subhanahu wa taala with you everywhere. Several times in the book of Allah subhanahu wa taala you find this meaning. Allah subhanahu wa taala is is bringing up. The, the believers is teaching people make sure that you are under the watching of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Allah is, Allah is watching and also the angels and they will be they will be the witnesses for your deeds or against you for you or against you the angels of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala inna alaykum lahafidhin kiraman katibin ya'lamuna ma taf'alun Allah has appointed angels in our right shoulder and our left shoulder to write down and record every single action that we are, we are doing. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, لَكِنْ اللَّهُ يَشْهَدُ بِمَا أَنْزَلَ إِلَيْكَ أَنْزَلَهُ بِعِلْمِ وَالْمَلَائِكَةُ يَشْهَدُونَ وَكَفَى بِاللَّهِ شَهِيدًا The angels of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is watching and recording. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, أَنْ يَحْسَمُونَ أَنَّا لَا نَعْلَ أَنَّا لَا أم يحسبون أن لا نعلم سرهم ونجواهم بلى ورسلنا لديهم يكتبون. The angels of Allah سبحانه وتعالى recording. They are writing down everything. There are another witnesses. They will they will be a witnesses for you or against you, for us or against us in the day of judgment. Which our organs, our body, our organs. They will be a witnesses against us in the day of judgment. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said in the Quran, يوم تشهد عليهم ألسنتهم وأيديهم وأرجلهم بما كانوا يعملون. Your tongue will, will, will be a witness in the day of judgment. Your hands and your, your feet, they will be a witnesses for you or against you. Your skin will be a witness. وقالوا لجلودهم لما شهدتم علينا قالوا انطقنا الله الذي انطق كل شيء وهو خلقكم اول مره واليه ترجعون وما كنتم تستترون ان يشهد عليكم سمعكم ولا ابصاركم ولا جلودكم ولكن ظننتم ان الله لا يعلم ولكن ظننتم ان الله لا يعلم كثيرا مما تعملون فذلكم ظنكم الذي ظننتم بربكم أرداكم فأصبحتم من الخاسرين. Allah سبحانه وتعالى told us in the Quran that our our hearing, our our tongues, our our limbs, our skin, they will be a witness. They will talk. Allah سبحانه وتعالى will cause, will help, will cause them to talk for people or against people. So this is all of this observation, you know, that the government to discipline the affairs of people, they are making laws and rules and regulations, police, different kind of police, secret police, you know, to watch people, to discipline their right. But it, at any time, if the people didn't find this kind of observation, sometimes the people violate, violate the limits and the rules. But the rules of Islam and the the conscience that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made inside every believer is different. It's different and unique because it comes from our inside. You watch yourself. You, you know what you are doing. 
الملائكه والملائكه بيشهدون and our our days رمضان will be a witness for us or against us وسيدنا الحسن بن علي in his اثر he used to say ما من يوم ينشق فجره الا وينادي ابن ادم يا ابن ادم انا يوم جديد وعلى عملك شهيد فاغتنمني فاني لا اعود الى يوم القيامه every single day a caller will call all children of adam i'm a new day for you and i will be a witness for your deeds or against your deeds take care of me take the benefits of me because i will never come back come back to you again Days and Ramadan will be a witness. Our Prophet Muhammad will be a witness. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told us that He is watching and our days are going to be shown to Him. If I saw something good from your good deeds, I will praise Allah and say Alhamdulillah. If not, I will seek forgiveness to you. But you still, you still have to watch yourself because in the day of judgment, the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam will be a witness against you, and he will tell Allah subhanahu wa taala, Ya Rabb, my message has been delivered to that guy, my sunnah has been reached to that man, but he didn't implement my sunnah. فكيف إذا جئنا من كل أمة بشهيد وجئنا بك على هؤلاء شهيدا. Every nation will have their own witness the prophets of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will be a witnesses against their nation and our prophet Muhammad sallallahu will be a witness against us ويوم نبعث في كل أمة شهيدا عليهم من أنفسهم وجئنا بك شهيدا على هؤلاء the prophet Muhammad sallallahu will be a shaheed a witness for the Muslim Ummah or against people who didn't implement the, his tradition and his sunnah also the land, the earth that you are walking on, you will be a witness for people or against them. Allah, يَوْمَئِذٍ تُحَدِّثُ أَخْبَارَهَا سورة الزلزلة يَوْمَئِذٍ تُحَدِّثُ أَخْبَارَهَا قَالُوا يَا رَسُولَ اللَّهِ كَيْفَ تُحَدِّثُ أَخْبَارَهَا قَالَ تَشْهَدُ عَلَى كُلِّ فَرْدٍ عَلَى كُلِّ إِنْسَانٍ مَا عَمِلَ عَلَيْهَا مِنْ خَيْرٍ أَوْ شَرْ فمن يعمل مثقال ذرة خيرا يرى ومن يعمل مثقال ذرة شرا يرى. The Prophet Muhammad صلى الله عليه وسلم said the land will talk will mention its news. A lot of talk will say to Allah سبحانه وتعالى يا رسول الله how the land will talk. The Prophet Muhammad صلى الله عليه وسلم said it will mention the news and will talk and will tell Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala every single action for every single individual have been walking on the, on the earth, on it. So my dear brother and sister Islam, our need to observe and to make sure that we are under the observation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the angels of Allah, our Prophet Muhammad alayhi salatu wa salam, our body and the land and also the fruits of watching ourselves and, and learning how to watch yourself that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will help you to increase your deeds and your iman and it will be your habit you you automatically you will find yourself directed to do what is right and stay away and restrain from what what is wrong and the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam told the Sahaba, you will taste the sweetness of your faith if you are watching your deeds, if you are, if you know that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is watching you. Qalu, Rabbi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, qala, iman man abad Allah wahda wa zakka min khayri malihi wa zakka nafsa. The one who will taste the sweetness of iman the one who worshiped Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala only and the only one God, Ilahu Wahid, and who gave charity from the best of his money, from the money that he loves, that he like, that he likes, and and he purified himself. He said, Ya Rasulullah, how he purify himself. Qala sallallahu alayhi wa sallam an ya'lam anna Allah yasma'ahu, yasma'ahu wa yara'ahu في كل لحظة وحركة. To know that Allah subhanahu wa taala hears you and sees you in every single second 
moment and every single action that you do Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is with you if you are watching yourself watching Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala you are avoid avoiding yourself the characteristics of the hypocrites al munafiqeen one of the dear manners that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has mentioned in the Quran that they hide themselves from people but they don't hide themselves from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala yastaghfuna min an-nas wa la yastaghfuna min Allah wa huwa ma'ahum idh yubayyituna ma la yarda min al-qawl wa kana Allah bima ya'maluna muhita the hypocrites the the hide themselves from people in front of people they are beautifying their deeds their talk they are very good they're very nice but between them and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala from the inside they are corrupted they are they're bad they have bad intentions they have bad planning against themselves and against people and against the believers again so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said they are hiding themselves from Allah but they are not hiding themselves from, from they hide themselves from people but they cannot hide themselves from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because Allah he has the ultimate knowledge <laughs> Allah knows what's going with their intentions from their from their inside <laughs> How to help our our kids and our families, our young generation, our brothers and sisters to improve this kind of sense, to have muraqaba to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, to have an observation from you inside about your deeds and about about your actions. This is the, the, the tradition and the methodology of our Prophet Muhammad and our righteous predecessors, our Sahaba used to teach the kids how to observe Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. One of the ways to improve this, to tell the stories about the, to be mindful and to be watchful about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's limits and boundaries. And you know the scholars and our righteous predecessors and even in our schools, the people used to teach the students the, the story of Sayyidina Umar ibn Khattab when he was walking to see, make sure that the people are observing Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala stopping in the limits of Allah. And he came across a servant, someone is taking care of a group of sheep. And he started to test him to see how much this man is honest and sincere. And he said to him, "What do I, I need to buy one sheep from you. So the man said to him, this, this is not for me, this is for my master. I said, it's okay, just sell it to me and when your master come back, comes back, tell him that the wolf ate it. So the servant responded to Sayyidina Umar ibn Khattab and he said to him, okay, my master will not know about this, but how about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? إِذَا كَانَ سَيِّدِي لَا يَعْلَمْ فَأَيْنَ اللَّهِ if my master didn't know what I did, how about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he sees me? فَبَكَى عُمُرْ وَقَالَ نَعَمْ إِي وَاللَّهِ أَيْنَ اللَّهِ أَيْنَ اللَّهِ أَيْنَ اللَّهِ He cried and he said, yes, by Allah, where is Allah? Where is Allah? Where is Allah? This is the word that should be repeated continuously in the tongues of every single Muslim believers, man and woman, young and old, أَيْنَ Allah. أين الله؟ إذا the people do not see me, where is Allah؟ سبحانه وتعالى يقال أن عمر أعتقه ويقال أن هذه القصة حالة اسمع عبد الله بن عمر himself again he he freed him from the slavery and he bought all the sheep for him for his honesty and he for his honest and his and his sincerity. so my dear brother and sister in Islam another story that has been mentioned for عمر بن الخطاب himself he used to go very famous story regarding the, the lady. She asked her daughter to mix the milk with water. 
She said, Ya Bunaya, let's mix some the, the water with the milk so we can increase the amount of, of, of the milk. She said, Ya, ya Umma, oh my mother, please. Didn't you hear Umar ibn Khattab when he told the Muslim community, please do not cheat and mix the water with the milk? He said, the mother said to her, don't worry, don't worry, Umar is not seeing us. Let's do, do it. She said to her, if Umar ibn Khattab doesn't see us, where is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? Umar heard that statement from that girl. He went back to his, his family, his kids, and they said, you guys, he did a sign, mark that home. And he went back to his family and he said to his kids, you guys, there are a girl in this, ha in this house. It should be a wife for one of you. فتزوجها عاصم ابن عمر ابن الخطاب وكان من نسلها عمر بن عبد العزيز رضي الله عنهم جميعا وارضاهم One of his with kids he married that daughter and from the offspring of this wife this girl was عمر ابن عبد العزيز the Muslim caliph who governed who ruled the Muslim ummah in a very beautiful and very strong kind of government that established the justice and the freedom and the right of people at that time. So my dear brother and sister Islam, tell the stories that make people to ignite the spirit of honesty and observation to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. One of the stories that the, our righteous predecessors, Rajul min at tabi'in he married another wife, second wife, and he didn't tell his, his first wife. He didn't tell his first wife, and this is at that time is legal. I know it is, it is illegal here in America, but with their culture, it is legal at that time. Don't worry. So, you know what happened? 14 years, and his first wife, she knows that he married the second one, second one, but she didn't discuss even discuss this with him. She didn't tell him that, but she knows for sure that he married the second wife. 14 years. You know what happened? that man passed away and the first wife she took share from the inheritance the share for the second wife and give, give it to her and the second wife refused to take the share of the inheritance because she said to her he divorced me I have been divorced for two years two years ago I have been divorced from him I have no right to take this money from him so the first wife she didn't ignore the second one to give her the share from the inheritance and the second one, she didn't take uh, uh, something that is not her right. So this kind of stories, my dear brother and sister in Islam, will ignite the spirit of, of honesty and sincerity and observation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But before you tell the story, make sure that you, you do this before then. You are a good example for your kids first. <clears throat> Don't tell the stories and you yourself and your example, you, you are not acting properly. This is, this is a big and dangerous kind of action that a person can do. al qudwa al hasana to be a good example first before. Sometimes, you know, we did mistakes and we forgot. We saw some words or doing this and our kids, you know, Baba, you see this and now you are doing this. Why? Answer. So we have to act with a kind of maturity and sincerity and honesty with our, with our children and mujaharat with them. Some people, they are doing we're doing sins publicly, and they are asking for the discipline for our kids. Here, who is taking you as your his his manager and his leader and his good example? So we have to make sure that we are doing this and teaching and igniting the spirit of watching Allah to be mindful something from your inside. Allahu yarani, Allahu yasmani, Allahu muttalun alayhi. These three words, my dear brothers and sisters, Islam. Allah Rani, Allah is watching me. Allah Yasmauni, Allah hears me. Allah Muttalim Ali, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows what is going inside me. These three words should be memorized from every single individual from Muslims. It will be it will be a, a way for reform and reconciliation and respectfulness to the limits of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. اللهم اجعلنا من الذين يستمعون القول فاتبعونا احسنا اللهم انصرنا واحفظنا واهدنا وارزقنا وتوب علينا انك انت التواب الرحيم اللهم اعفنا واعف عنا
اللهم انا نسالك علما نافعا ورزقا واسعا وعملا متقبلا وشفاء من كل داء اللهم انصرنا واحفظنا واهدنا وارزقنا وتوب علينا انك انت التواب الرحيم اللهم تقبل صيامنا وقيامنا وقراننا اللهم نور بالقران بيوتنا ونور به قلوبنا ونور به حياتنا ونور به قبورنا اللهم يا ربنا يا حنان ويا منان يا ذا الجلال والاكرام اللهم اجعل شهر رمضان شاهدا لنا لا شاهدا علينا اللهم اجعله شاهدا لنا لا شاهدا علينا اللهم شفع فينا الصيام وشفع فينا القيام وشفع فينا القران اللهم ربي بالقران يا اولادنا اللهم ربي بالقران يا اولادنا ووسع به ارزاقنا وحل به عقدنا انك على ما تشاء قدير وانك نعم المولى ونعم النصير، اللهم انصر الاسلام واعز المسلمين، اللهم هيئ لهذه الامه انبا رشد يعز فيه اهل طاعتك ويودى فيه اهل معصيتك ويؤمر فيه بالمعروف وينهى فيه عن المنكر واخر دعوانا الحمد لله رب العالمين واقم الصلاه ان الصلاه كانت 